Detaching and letting go are huge topics when it comes to manifesting. And there's a lot of angst around this and also a lot of misinformation. So in today's video, I want to take you through some of the misconceptions that exist around detaching and letting go. And I'm going to explain to you what detaching and letting go really means and finally how you can do it. So by the end of this video, you're going to have a new layer of understanding in your journey towards creating your reality in the way that you want and manifesting your goals. And if you are done with stressing out about not being able to let go and wanting to learn how to detach from your goals, then hit the like button and we'll unpack this. I'm using my whiteboard again because this really helps me to explain these concepts better. And I've, I realized that I've actually never asked you before if you enjoy it when I, use, when I use my whiteboard or my flip chart. So let me know in the comments below what do you think about the videos where I actually do use them. Now, let's talk about the misconceptions then. And the first misconception when it comes to detaching or letting go is that it means that I stop wanting. I stop wanting my goal. And because I seem as if I don't want my goal anymore, because I'm not pushing towards it, it might mean that it won't manifest. Now this goes back to the whole control issue. We have this illusion of control and that by applying force we can actually control the outcomes and the situation and events in our lives. And um, you'll know by now if you follow my videos that you aren't able to control anything out there. The only thing that you have control over is over what is happening inside of you here. So the first misconception is that I, when I let go, when I just detach, detach, it means that I'm giving up and I don't really want this goal so badly anymore, so it's not going to happen. The second misconception is we tell ourselves, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. Now I want to talk about this a little more. If we break this down, ask yourself this question. Who is the I and who is the myself? You are not subject to myself, right? The I can operate independently. The I can choose. The I can create. The I can imagine. And then the third misconception that we have when it comes to detaching and letting go is almost in direct contradiction to what I said in the first point. And that is we believe that we must let go. And if we don't let go, we will never be able to manifest what we want. So we think that we must let go. We think that we must detach. And I don't know if anyone has ever asked you to not think of a pink elephant, right? The moment that you try not to think of the pink elephant, what is the only thing that you can think of? The same happens when you try so hard to let go. The harder you try to let go, the more unable you are to let go because you're putting your attention on the wrong thing. So those are the misconceptions. And now I want to talk to you about what detaching and letting go actually means. And the way that I understand it, the way that I interpret it, is to say that detaching is a natural outcome or a natural result, result when you change who you are being and I'm writing being here with a capital B so detaching and letting go is a natural result of who you are being so if we change ourselves on the being level detachment happens by itself look at it this way if this is your goal If your goal is over here, what we typically do is we think 
of the goal. We think of all the ways in which we can make this happen, how we can control it, how we can force it, going back to point number one in the misconception. We try and put all these things onto making the goal happen, all right? So we're exerting a lot of force. Whereas when you think from the dream, from the goal, from the state of being, instead of of it, what happens is you are now inside the goal and you are viewing, perceiving and experiencing everything from within. You have created your point of power now where you are already being that which you want. All right. And now I'm going to explain to you how do you do this in real life? How do you apply this in real life? What you do is you create and you imagine, because we create reality from our imagination, we create our reality from in here to allow it to manifest out there. So you imagine a scene where you are already having, doing or being your goal. And when you do that, intensely enough it removes the hunger it removes the need to make it so all right because you live as if it is already done when we think about how the mind works it's important to understand that our mind does not distinguish between something which is real and something which is imagined that is why you can think about an argument that you had with your partner and you can work yourself up so much that you are ready to explode and you do that all by yourself without anyone being there just by the virtue of you remembering the conversation all right your body goes through all of those biochemical processes again you're feeling all of those emotions again just by virtue of what's happening inside here there's another example that I, that I always use, and that is where you imagine, and you can do this with me now, I want you to imagine that you are seeing in front of you or holding in your hand a big juicy yellow lemon. And then I want you to imagine that you take a bite out of this. So close your eyes, imagine that you bring the lemon to your mouth and that you sink your teeth into this ripe, luscious yellow skin and as you bite through the skin, you feel the, the little sparks of the skin against your lips and then the juices release into your mouth. So feel those juices releasing into your mouth, running down the back of your throat. All right, and now you can open your eyes. And if you did this with me, most likely what happened is you actually could feel how your um, saliva glands activated. You might even have felt like a little tightness um, or a twinge here in the back of your throat. All right, your mind cannot distinguish or your nervous system cannot distinguish between what is happening for real and what is happening only in your imagination. And because of this, if you create a scene for yourself and you are able to, to play it and create it in such a way and run it in such a way that, that it becomes real for you in here, okay? So you really live into it. You see what you see, you hear what you hear, you feel what you feel, you taste what you taste and you smell what you smell. Make it, blow it up, use all of your senses, bring the whole experience to life. Then, according to your nervous system, it is something that has already happened. It is complete. It is done. And therefore, you don't have the need to make it happen. So your detaching is a natural outflow of you doing the work, of you doing the creation of this scene of your goal in your mind. So instead of trying to detach, rather place your focus and your attention on using your imagination to create your reality and the detachment will happen by itself. Now I'd like to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts about this video and tell me if you are going to try this out for yourself.